Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example on door locking system. So, let's look at the example first. Door locking system. When lock button is pressed, the doors should lock. And when unlock button is pressed, the doors remain unlocked for 10 seconds and then gets locked. The doors should not lock if there is someone at the door. So in this case, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will also be using some memory bits. And with that, we will also be using timers like TP. So let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for law door locking system. I will open EcoStructure Machine Export Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select a logic controller. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. Here is the device description that it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, to analog inputs, one serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. After that, I will go to programming tab. So here, I will be drawing ladder diagram for door locking system. So I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as lock. Yes. And then I will insert a coil here. And I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as door lock. Yes. So I will edit this, that is I will keep it as log button. Then I will latch it here, so I will insert normally open contact and connect it like this. Then I will assign address to it as same as door lock that is Q 0.0. .0. So when lock button is pressed and released, door will be locked. And then I will add a new rank here. And for that, I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as unlock button. Yes. So when unlock button is pressed and released, door lock should be off. So for that, I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to it as M0, which is a memory bit. And I will also latch it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact and I will assign address to it as M0. M0. Then I will connect it like this. And then I will add a new rank here. For that, I will insert normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as same as M0. M0. And then I will 
insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M1. And for M1, I will use a timer here and that should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and reset value as 10. Yes. So, when unlock button is pressed and released, M0 gets activated and when M0 gets activated, M1 gets activated for 10 seconds. And we will use this M1 to unlock the door. So, we will insert this M1 here. I will insert a normally close contact. I will assign address to it as M1. With that also, I will use another normally closed contact here and I will assign address to it as I0.2. I will uh, assign a, a symbol to it as sensor. That is, when someone is detected at the door, the doors will not get locked. So when lock button is pressed and released, doors will be locked. And then, when unlock button is pressed and released, M0 gets activated and when M0 gets activated, M1 gets activated for 10 seconds. And when M0, M1 gets activated for 10 seconds, doors will be unlocked for 10 seconds. And with that here, when sensor detects that there is someone at the door, the current will not flow through it and doors will not be locked. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And I will start controller. Click on OK. Then I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So, when lock button is pressed and released, doors will be locked. And then, when unlock button is pressed, and released. Doors will be unlocked. Here, when M1 gets activated for 10 seconds, doors will be unlocked for 10 seconds. And when lock button is pressed and released, doors will be locked and also when sensor detects that there is someone present at the door the doors will not get locked and also when unlock button is pressed and released doors will be unlocked for 10 seconds it was all about this example thank you for watching Thank you.